Why are mountains so important? If you ask a child to draw a landscape, he or she will most likely draw a mountain. Each mountain is unique, and most of them can be recognized from so far away that they often become the identifying symbol of a region or a country. In fact, mountains are much more than that. They are also the origin of many resources that we need every day in any part of the territory, including large cities and coastal areas. Mountains help to rain. They filter the rainwater and moderately direct it downstream. They provide sediments and vital nutrients for the crops of the plains and deltas. They supply us with wood, firewood, mushrooms, fruits, meat, dairy products and fabrics. Many sports can be done in the mountains too, and therefore they attract tourists. They also offer us peace and leisure, and concentrate an often unique biodiversity that makes all these benefits possible. However, mountains are also under a lot of pressure, and climate change, as well as other changes in the way we use the land, is putting all their benefits at risk. For instance, people's demand for water is increasingly higher. Water is needed for agriculture, industries, cities, tourism, swimming pools. But at the same time, it is getting hotter and hotter, and rain is more and more irregular. So often, mountains cannot meet such demand. Permanent snow is melting, and this makes the planet heat up even more, because white color is capable of reflecting more solar energy than dark colors. You can check this by exposing your clothes to the sun. As there is less snow, ski resorts are losing customers. But at the same time, now there are a lot more people who move through the mountains, on foot, by bike, motorcycle or quad. So much human activity endangers many of the most unique and vulnerable species that live in these places. In addition, the increase in temperature also means that the species of plants and animals that need to live in the cold are running out of space, which makes the landscape become more and more uniform. The number of second homes and residential areas is also increasing, which adds more human pressure to the area. At the same time, a lot of small mountain villages have been depopulated and people have abandoned the lands they used to take care of, such as crops, meadows and pastures. Since these lands are no longer in use, the forest is occupying them, and many of the animals and plants that previously lived in them, like many butterflies and flowering plants, are disappearing. In contrast, some large mammals are now more abundant, such as roe deer, wild boar and bears. As a consequence of all this, mountains are losing one of their most valuable characteristics to enhance the diversity of species offering a large number of different habitats within very short routes. Often, these habitats are also present in flatter areas, which means that mountains allow us to study in advance, and within just a few kilometers, the consequences of climate change and other environmental changes for the whole continent in the coming years. To promote scientific research in mountain areas, in 2017, NEMO was established a network of research centres throughout Europe that wants to promote sustainable development in European mountain areas. And to do so, NEMO wants to encourage cooperation between countries that allows us to protect such emblematic and fundamental territories for our subsistence. For more information, please visit nemo.craf.cat.